Want to help your wheelchair homie out but don't know what to get them? Here go a few things. The reachers, you can get that way they can actually reach things. The gloves, yes, that will protect their hands from when they're rolling the wheelchair. Non-slip shower mats, come on dude. Ramps, trays, you can get them the handicap bars. Any of these things will make their life easier. Swinging and banging all on the ones and twos. Kendrick Avant is back to reintroduce himself to you. I got the gratitude journal. And every day I am reminding you to write down the stories of why you are grateful. That's the difference between being grateful and showing gratitude. Write these stories down. If you have abandonment, chronic illness, if you're dealing with the physical limitations, whether seen or unseen, Writing these stories down will force you to have more positive thoughts and less negative thoughts. November 11th is a very special day. It is Singles Day. I know where y'all thought I was going to go, but I'm talking about November 11th is the Singles Day. Let me explain where this comes from. So in China... There was the Nanjing University. And over a period of time at this university, a small group of students started celebrating being single because everything is about everything is about couples and marriages and Valentine's Day, love and whatnot. Singles Day is about just celebrating being in love with yourself, doing things on your own, being independent. Really, really big. I like it. It started out November 11th because 1111 slash 11 looks like a bunch of sticks. And that's what the students decided to use November 11th as Singles Day. It is now in real talk. I know y'all know about Black Friday. You've heard about the Cyber Monday. Singles Day is bigger than both of those days combined. And I bet you had no idea about Singles Day. Let me tell you right now, you can go to Foot Locker, 30% discounts. You can go to Steam, they got huge discounts on video games. Target has discounts. Uh, Best Buy, Alibaba has discounts. People, Expedia has discounts for tickets. If you are trying to fly somewhere, they got tickets for under $200 on Singles Day. Because they want to celebrate and be a part of independent, being single, doing your thing. Get open, people. Did y'all know there was something called anti-couples? I didn't know shit about that until I read about Singles Day and the history of Singles Day and all these doggone sales and everything on Singles Day. Anti-couples, do your thing. Singles, do your thing. Keep your independence. I dig it. I am so juiced up to be back outside here, man. I got like 11, 12 gratitudes. I've added five since I've come out here. Let me tell you about some of the ones that didn't make it. Having beer out here right next to me did not make it. Having the dog on uh, the water filter smash into the point didn't end up writing that down. I had one about how I rolled over to get this thing plugged in. That didn't make the five. I'm just going to tell you about the five I actually wrote about. That way, that way I don't feel like I'm cheating you. So, number one, the neighbors brought the dog back. We didn't even know the dog had gotten loose, but the fact the neighbors brought him back and the dog did not bite anybody has put the kids at ease. Really, it's, it put me at ease. The kid, We even know the dog was gone, but the neighbors brought him back and... Whole big story. So that's gratitude number one. That the neighbors brought the dog back. Knew his name. Everything. Cool shit. Thank you. Now we have done something to make sure the dog doesn't get back out. Gratitude number number two. I have not gotten my new muscle relaxers prescribed from the doctor. But I still have my ibuprofens. And those are helping me deal with whatever is going on in my back. Thank you. 
Got the ibuprofen. So I have some muscle relaxers. Finally went to the doctor, told y'all about. I got three doctor's appointments next week. But either way, I got some ibuprofen, man. And I've been trying to get away from that because of the stomach. Today is Friday. Today is the day. Hopefully I get the new stuff. Gratitude number three. I still have one Snoop Dogg G pen. I broke my pen using my use I broke my pen using my bag, but because I have a Snoop another pen, I can now smoke indiscreetly. Yep, taking it everywhere. Got a Snoop Dogg vape vape pen. I had two. I bought this Snoop vape pen maybe six, seven times. It has bad reviews. I like the Snoop Dogg vape pen. I, I truly do. That's why I bought it six or six or seven times. But at one point I had two. I even wrote, I've even written gratitudes about having two. Broke that mug, man. In the dog on back. Had no idea the little the little tip just broke off. I'm hoping maybe I get me some rubber some rubber cement, but I don't know. I, I think I'd rather just buy go up there and just buy a whole new one. But I still got one. And that one lets me get in and about. And I can still smoke inside of inside the house and whenever we go places. Yeah, need that. Gratitude number four is that the dining room table is completely cleaned off. There is no computer, there are no decorations, there are no plates. Now now I can pull up at the now I can pull up at the table. And stretch my arms out and write in a comfortable space. That's the only place in the house that actually fits my, um, I'm six feet tall. Which is not tall, man. But shoot. Like, because of chairs and the wheels and everything, everywhere I sit, it is crazy un uncomfortable. I can't even sit at the dining room table all the way I want to. But it's the best, most comfortable space. And because the kids have... Like a, like a hard desk computer, hard top computer up there. They, they playing video games and whatnot. There's always been a decoration going on. And I know Thanksgiving is coming up, but there's no decoration for Thanksgiving that we, that we throw up like that. Christmas, it'll, it, it'll be full again. But for a little while, I can pull up at the table and just write. Stretch out and just write. Yes. Gratitude number five. All the kids helped me get in the car last night. Yeah, let me tell you how that works. So one kid rolled out the ramp, got the ramp ready for me. One kid put the put the wheelchair in the truck. Usually the queen has to do that. You know I can't do it. And one person brought my bags and helped me get my feet in. Nice teamwork. I wish they would do that shit more often. I truly do. But I am happy that they came and did it this once. And when you write that down, <clears throat> be appreciative of when these type of things happen. So I'm writing that down. That's going to fill up my heart. That's going to help me remember. Tomorrow, I'll probably end up saying something to them about that. And that fosters the communication, the positivity, the growth, the communication between you and your child. That's how the gratitude journal works. Yeah. Y'all be pretty. Stay grateful. I salute you. I am out.